and welcome to For the Hakra, part of the Believe Podcast Network. I'm your host, Brandon Schultz. And in the first preseason game of the season, the Seahawks kick things off with a solid defensive performance, holding the Los Angeles Chargers to just one field goal on their way to a 16-3 win. After the game, we heard from coach Mike McDonald, quarterback Sam Howell, 2024 first-round pick Byron Murphy, and safety Kobe Bryant. Let's get into the key takeaways from those press conferences. First up, head coach Mike McDonald said he was very pleased with the team's mentality and focus. Here's what he had to say. Great first start. Um, just proud of the mentality. You know, the focus that we had taking the game, you know, the intent. Uh, it felt like the guys played really hard. felt like they were focused. You know, it's the first game, so just first time doing all the operation stuff for real. Uh, so I thought our operation was clean for the most part. I'm sure that, you know, I've got a bunch of notes written down as the game kind of unfolded there things that we're going to want to chase and uh, kind of debrief on. But overall, I'd just say it's, you know, it's a, I'd say it's a foundational first game. You know, this is something that we want to build on. Uh, there'll be plenty of details on tape that we're going to, you know, dive into. And I uh, can't wait to watch the tape and, and uh, see how the guys did. He also highlighted the defense, noting how quickly they got into the flow of the game. Here's his take on that. Well, we definitely wanted to, you know, we played most majority of our starters on defense. So we definitely wanted to start fast and, uh, just get a feel for getting the calls in, the subs, um, situational ball for real, you know. And uh, the guys were locked in. I thought and I thought we did a good job of getting the calls in fast, and the guys communicated well on the back end, especially when they started going uh, going fast there. And I think it was the third drive or so. So, um, yeah, it was very important. Now, when it came to individual performances, the coach had solid praise for quarterback Sam Howell's play today. I thought Sam played really well, um, you know. Moving the offense, not all the starters played. I think we had a couple of the interior, interior line guys that were the only ones in there. Um, great to see him come back out in the second half and you know move all the way down the field. And, you know, obviously we want to close that drive out, but um, thought we operated well. I thought he made some great decisions, um, slinging around. I'm sure there's some plays that we're gonna you know he'd want back, and um, that's good. You know, it's never gonna be a perfect performance, but I definitely uh, definitely pleased. And if it wasn't just the quarterback getting recognition, rookie Byron Murphy's big plays on defense were another highlight for the coach. Yeah, it was great to see him make a couple plays. You know, first first game action, he was all juiced, and the guys were excited for him, so that that was cool to see. Special teams had its ups and downs, and the coach was candid about where improvements are needed. You know, there's a lot of great things to show. I mean, uh, this is this is return was definitely a highlight. Uh, there's a couple things where we got to look at, you know, how we're blocking some certain things, especially when the ball is going across the field. But again, you know, I think it's, it'd be fun film to watch and, and Hey guys, you know, now we saw it for real. This is the tempo of the play. Let's change our targets, our counts, things like that. Make sure our angles are on point. And, uh, you know, we should take a big jump here moving forward. Lastly, the coach emphasized the team's identity and what they're striving to achieve this season. But we're on record with this, but just, just, just a, a style that's really tough to play. You know, it's um, all the things, all the edges that we're chasing, um, our mentality. We want to be rock solid. We say 12 is one. We want to be together, connected, um, all those things. You know, guys, everybody pushing the same direction. And uh, we're not there yet, you know, but we're but that's the vision. The guys know it. That's what we're on our way. And, uh, the, you know, faster we can push together, the, you know, the further we'll go. So, uh, you know, step one. Next up, we heard from quarterback Sam Howell and how the team finally got to face off against a different opponent after weeks of practicing against each other. Here's what he had to say about the game overall. Yeah, it was good to get back out there. Um, we, you know, we've been, we've been going against ourselves a little, uh, for these past few weeks. Um, so good to get out there against a, a different opponent. I um, thought the guys played well. Obviously, defensively, I thought we had a really good game. Offensively, did, did some good things. Could have scored a little more points, I thought. We'd like to finish that drive there in the early in the third quarter where we got stopped in the one. Um, overall, I thought we did some good things. He also shared his thoughts on Coach McDonald's debut as head coach. Yeah, coach was great. Uh, so you know, first time for him. Um, yeah, obviously first time head coach, but he was he was great. I thought he did a good job. You know, did a good job of getting us ready for the game. Obviously, it's a little different when it's the preseason, but he did a great job. You know, he was great before the game. Great, great with in in the huddle before the game and stuff. So he, he's doing a great job, and, and guys are buying in for sure. When it came to his own performance during training camp, the quarterback was honest about his early struggles, but emphasized that he's improved as camp has progressed. Yeah, I, th- I thought the first couple of days I wasn't my best, um, but after you know the first two days or so, I thought I've I've been playing some good football, um, especially this past week. I thought I had a 
really good week of practice. Um, and I think I've definitely gotten better each and every day. Um, and that's what I'm going to continue to try to do is get better each and every day. Al also highlighted his mobility as a key part of his game, especially on critical third downs. Let's hear his thoughts on how his ability to make plays with his legs impacts the game. That's definitely something that, you know, I've always kind of done my whole career is, you know, I, especially on third down, I can try to make some plays with my with my feet. Um, and I think that's just part of part of my game and something that whenever I'm out there, I'm going to try to use, especially in, on third down, especially when they're playing man coverage. Um, and, you know, when they're playing man coverage on defense, there's a lot of room to run the ball for, for, the, for the quarterback. So when, when we get man coverage, you know, kind of look, obviously trying to throw the ball first, but I know there's good opportunities to run as well. One of the standout moments from the game was Brady Russell's impressive touchdown. The quarterback was clearly excited about his teammates' performance. Yeah, that was awesome. Definitely when I threw it to him, I was kind of just expecting to get the first down. But, um, you know, it's great when you got a guy who can, you know, run after the catch and make guys miss. And Brady's had a really good camp, um, and he's doing a great job. So every time he's in there, I'm going to try to keep finding him for sure. On his final drive of the day, Howell hoped they would have been able to finish the drive, and he supported the decision to run the ball, even though they didn't quite get the result they wanted. Uh, we, we were running the ball really well. Um, so I, I was fine with the decision to run the ball there on fourth down, um, just try to try to get it in. Um, but, yeah, we definitely got to find a way to finish that. But uh, play call-wise, I thought, we, I thought it was, that was pretty good. Wrapping things up, the quarterback expressed confidence in the offense's progress as they continue to prepare for the regular season. Obviously, every, every single day that you get to, you know, rep rep the system, rep the plays in this system is another day to get better. Um, and I think we've done a really good job as an offense of finding what things we need to get better at and, and focusing on those each and every day. Um, and I think that's 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 definitely paid off for us. And we got a good group of guys that you know really love ball, want to get better. Um, so I'm really excited about what we have on our football team. Up next, it was an exciting debut for Byron Murphy in his first NFL preseason game. Here's what he had to say about the experience. Man, it felt great, you know, first time, first NFL game. Uh, man, it was it was truly a blessing, but it was great, man. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, really just very excited, you know, from the first snap I was in to the last. You know, I had fun, but, you know, I'm just trying to continue to get better each and every day. Murphy finished the day with a big tackle for a loss, but he also had an opportunity for a sack that he couldn't quite finish. You know, uh, you know that that play right there. I mean, I, I should have made the play, but you know, uh, you know, thanks to my teammate, you, he made it. But you know, it, it's also you know, it's a learning, you know, a learning thing. You know, uh, just just uh, finishing plays, something I just need to work on. You know, but uh, you know, that's uh, something that's gonna happen. You know, that's part of football. You know, it's okay. It's all good. After a game like this, he says he could feel the boost in the team's overall confidence. It, it just it just boosted even more, you know, because uh, Coach McDonald, you know, he's big on defense. You know, he he just been preaching to us, you know, since we you know since we've been in camp, you know, OTA training camp, you know, all them things. And uh, man, but I feel like a total boost though. I feel like um, now I feel like we can really see his vision after today, after this game too. And I feel like we're gonna it's time to take it up a notch. I feel like that's what we're gonna do. With that confidence comes a focus on communication which Murphy emphasized as a key to their success on the field. Cause, you know, that's something we work on, you know, uh, week in, week out. You know, we big on communication. You know, uh, Mike McDonough, you know, he, he you know he preached that a lot, communication, communicate. You know, that's what we do, you know, communicate. You know, in order in order to be successful on the field, you know, everybody got to communicate. You know, that's the only way you can do your job. You know, you got to talk. You know, just, uh, just everybody just being on one page, stand of course. One of the key moments in the Seahawks' 16-3 victory came when Seahawks safety Kobe Bryant intercepted Chargers quarterback Easton Stick. Ball in the air, that's all I seen. You know, I knew I had to get it. I owe two of them. Should have had two, I mean, but, you know, I'm thankful for the first one. And when it comes to football, it's not just about the physical skills. It's also about the mental preparation. Bryant talked about how the team's attention to detail and practice really showed up in today's game. Right. Uh, I feel like, you know, because my challenge is extremely hard in practice, um, you know, and then versus when it's in the game, you know, it's a lot easier. So, you know, I feel like that, that kind of helps us when we go out there. Kobe also emphasized how he's growing into his role, particularly at safety, where he started playing more last season. Uh, I'm, I'm embracing it, you know, pretty well. You know, each week I'm, I'm growing. You know, I set myself with goals to, you know, attack each week, you know, with what I need to work on, what I'm improving on. So just a little thing. 
Finally, Bryant talked about the team's hard work and practice and how it translates to game day, especially when it comes to tackling, a crucial aspect that can make or break a defense. We practice on tackling each and every day, you know, that whatever the case may be, without pads, with pads, that's something that, you know, they, they hone in on. Um, you know, I feel like last year we had a lot of missed tackles. So, you know, to, in order to be a good defense, you know, you have to work on tackling. And that's going to do it for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure you stick around and catch all of our content coming out this week. We are going to have three in, three out with Clinton Bonner as we get into the nooks and the crannies of this preseason game. And then later this week, we will be previewing the upcoming matchup with the Tennessee Titans. Stay here for it right here on the Believe Podcast Network. Subscribe to For the Hawkra. Follow us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash Seahawkers podcast. And until next time, go Hawks.